A much anticipated move up to heavyweight. Do you think he could be competitive with the likes of Anthony Joshua? Fight fans, welcome back. Every generation contains a fighter who refuses to leave legacy to chance. I got milk, baby. Who's next? And consistently seeks out the biggest challenges and best available opposition. All the skills, the mobility, the speed, the southpaw style. This Ukrainian road warrior has raised the bar for his contemporaries by fighting anyone, anytime, any place. First, becoming the undisputed king of the cruiserweights. And last seen convincingly beating one of the best heavyweights on the planet. Here we look at opponents before and after facing Alexander Usyk. I was a fan before, and I'm a fan after. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. He is a daring fighter who steps up in big moments and rises to the occasion. Intense stare down right here. It's about to go down. Fellas, fellas, if we could uh, get a couple words here for your fans. Cruiserweight champion of the world. At the end of 2016, Alexander Usyk fought in the United States for the first time. These are the rounds where the class generally starts to tell in the middle of the fight. And now, Junu comes back with an unimpeded left counter shot, but that's all right. Usyk is in charge. Much like his esteemed countryman, Vasily Lomachenko, this acclaimed amateur star wanted no easy contest. Oh, yeah. After going down for the second time, and now Zumaret is going to stop the fight. Most fighters don't look that good against a guy like that. <laughs> Making the first defense of his WBO crown, 11 and 0 Usyk was on a fast track. But he's shown the world how good he is, and that he can become a real star. In early 2017. Usyk returned to America in a Maryland card stacked with Ukrainian talent. He needs to be saved from himself. A 2012 Olympian, undefeated opponent Michael Hunter arrived off the back of a career best pro victory. Jack Reese is looking closely at Douglas. Another combination on the ropes, and Douglas goes down again. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for them. I think, uh, you know, it's a new era coming, so this is about, it's our time, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to Michael Hunter, I think that may be a couple of fights too early for this title shot, but at the same time, you don't turn it down, especially when you feel as though you can beat him, you know, and it's on HBO. Yeah. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm going to show you how great I am. Is he surprised that Hunter uh, agreed to fight him? I'm not surprised. <laughs> hey, I'm not surprised. Both guys is they don't have a loss and they don't want to lose. So it's a tug of war between who's going to give in and who's not going to give in. After a tentative start, Usyk piled on the late pressure. And look what Usyk's doing. And you're able to land combinations upstairs in the middle of the ring. Like I said, I'm excited that he's in the heavyweight division. I think he's definitely going to be um, a spoiler if, if he gets a shot, if they even give him a shot. Beating a man who later moved up to rumble with some notable heavyweight names offered an indication of how Usyk might also fare in the land of the Giants. I still think Usyk is going to beat him on points. Uh, yeah, I don't know why people think that AJ would beat Usyk. What's the name of your opponent? It's Marco Hook. Marco Hook it is. Please join us up on stage. Entering the innovative World Boxing Super Series Tournament to further speed up his progress, Usyk was pitted against German veteran Marco Huck in a fight that would test his championship medal. So are you happy about this choice or not so much? This is my wish opponent. The worst opponent. The wish. The wish opponent. opponent. Well, then this is a match made in heaven. I don't like that type of boxer who is serious and angry and try to scare people with their look. Did I push him? I can't remember. He thinks this is just for fun. It's a fight with hard fists. It's not for amateurs. Here I can see that he's insecure and he comes out of his comfort zone. He's afraid. 
two men staring fixedly at one another during those final instructions. And we are moments away from the opening bout of the World Boxing Super Series. Tuck had seen better days, but the home fighter used all of his 45 fight experience and mastery of the dark arts to remain competitive. Now, and what a long right hand right now beginning to bring up a crush through the middle from Alexander Usyk. What a left hand! And Usyk just backs away as if to let that superiority marinate. With their respective careers moving in vastly different directions, the younger, fresher Usyk piled on the pressure in round 10 to force a stoppage. Working away furiously, shots underneath, Robert Bird has stepped in and has waved it off. What I was lacking was patience. I could feel with every hit that I surprised him. But because of all the excitement, I was too much out of breath. A WBSS semi-final date with another top cruiserweight lay ahead. You now will face the winner of Maris Brace and Mike Perez. Do you have any preference as to who you would rather face out of those quarterfinalists? I have no preferences. I just want to box. I need a good opposition to be a good fighter. You're through to the semi-finals of the World Boxing Super Series. How keenly are you looking forward to that matchup, that unification world title fight? This was the first title defense, first title defense in Latvia. First time for my eye to get cut, but this is all new experience and I'm looking forward to it. To tell you the truth, I think he's boring. But he became a good boxer and he's quite a skillful boxer since he did become world champion. Fighting on away turf posed no concerns for Usyk as he took on 23-0 WBC champion Maris Bredis in front of a raucous Latvian crowd. If Huck wasn't hungry for the victory, I can say that I am. Because Usyk will be one of the strongest opponents of my career. This is a high-risk sport. Every normal athlete is nervous before a fight. What an opening round we have here, just beyond the midpoint, and both boxers have already enjoyed success. And Usyk is increasing the tempo, increasing his punch output. A skilled boxer with an appetite for the fight, Bradis pushed his fellow champion hard. Top block, Bradis, and Usyk's tucking up just to lie. Before losing by the narrowest of margins. Alexander Usyk. Usyk later confessed that these were the most difficult rounds of his career and vowed to work on stylistic improvements. I think we've just witnessed everyone who was here tonight, certainly in my 20-something years of uh, watching boxing live, the, one of the greatest fights I've ever seen. I promise we will be back. We will be back. Are you not entertained? There are a few fighters in, in boxing history that do things so much better than everybody else. Roy Jones, you know, everything he did was just better than everybody else, you know? So I think Usyk is the same thing. That's it. Surprise, surprise. On the cusp of history, Alexander Usyk once again traveled into hostile territory against a feared puncher. But I don't have negative for him. Just we need to do what we have to do, that's it. Murat Gassiev, a grizzled Russian bear with a hammer right hand, was the hipster's choice for future stardom. If Dortikos or Usyk or Bredes or any of those guys, uh, they're all very physical themselves, so we have to be more physical than they are. This is cruiserweight division and everybody hits very hard and uh, one punch can change all your life and you never know. Let's do this, touch up. Usyk was imperious, boxing rings around an increasingly frustrated Gassiev. So busy with his boxing, and Gassiev is finding it difficult to contend with. Even when the Russian landed his big shots, Usyk simply soaked them up and remained on point for the duration. The best punch of the contest in terms of headshots, but he didn't even blink and remained concentrated on his work and countered with punches of his own. And Alexander Usyk gets on his bike as the bell sounds to conclude the 12th and final round. All the silverware was on the line for the tournament final, with Usyk becoming the first undisputed cruiserweight king since Jamaica's O'Neill Bell in 2006. Before this tournament, he favored and uh, and he proved this. We went up against uh, a master today in, in 
hopefully uh, uh, we can go back to the gym and, and improve uh, what we need to work on. What will you do next? Are you looking to move up and challenge the heavyweight contenders and champions with your boxing skill? At this moment, I heard that Tony Bellew is looking for a fight with the winner of Muhammad Ali Trophy. And I just want to know if I, if I can beat him. I think I can. Hey, Tony Bellew, are you ready? First ever four belt undisputed fight in this country's history. Two great, great fighters that will put it all on the line. With a move up in weight on the horizon, Usyk took on his final cruiserweight challenge against the outspoken Tony Bellew in the UK. And let's not forget, I have the one thing that he doesn't have, and that's a punch that can switch lights off within, within the blink of an eye. Usyk's feats were being compared to the legendary Evander Holyfield, while bomber Bellew plotted to dethrone the 200-pound king. Right. Superstar, no. Superstar, no, no, no. Mega star. Just one wrong step, one wrong maneuver, and it's over. It is another one of those moments. And Bellew says, come on then. You can't let it trick you there, Tony Bellew. Got a little bit careless. He's trying to confuse Usyk. Despite causing the champion some issues with his boxing ability, Bellew tired badly and was brutally disposed of in round eight. He will try everything he can, Bellew, even if he's losing these rounds. He's really closing this gap with, with real, you know, real oh, 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 you might not understand it, but believe you me, I understood because, as I said, I don't remember absolutely anything after round eight. The next thing I remember was uh, waking up in the dressing room. And he was just getting into more of a punishing rhythm and found a shot that laid Benny out. The greatest man I've ever shared the ring with. He deserves all the success in the world. I only wish you greatness. got himself an absolute monster. <laughs> Any of the big, big heavyweights have to be very, very careful who, how they present, how they go at them. What's it been like stepping up from cruiserweight to, to heavyweight? Is that a big challenge for you? Following an intense 2018, Usyk's next move was to relax, recuperate, and plan a heavyweight campaign. Yeah, many people say that it doesn't cost you to go there. You're not a natural super dash. You're small. You don't have anything to lose. From Kiev, Ukraine. After a frustrating year of injury and inactivity, Usyk finally made his heavyweight debut. I'm not scared. If you're scared, you're in the wrong sport of boxing. All boxers know that. You can't be scared. Your heart can't pump no Kool-Aid, for lack of better words. Like Alex said, the undisputed cruiserweight champion now has a dream to become the undisputed heavyweight champion. But I mean, lightning struck one time already this year, the strike again. I have a puncher's chance. I punch better than people give me credit for. See the size difference straight away in, in with the spoon on. The inevitable ring rust showed early on as he struggled to nail down late replacement Chaz Witherspoon. Jab gets through from Usyk, just pinning him back in the corner, looks to let his hands go. The Philly native soaked up heavy leather and was retired by his corner after round seven. Sick steps off to his left. Just the singles coming back from Witherspoon now. Be interested to see the corner here, what can do at the end of this round if Witherspoon makes it back. So the referee declares this fight over. Feeling the added weight of an oversized opponent, Usyk's stateside return led to question marks around his ability to mix with the heaviest of hitters. My coach kind of saved me for myself because I'll just keep going. Um, but uh, he, he, he should be successful as a, as a heavyweight. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel. I'm very feel. If Chaz Witherspoon was a soft introduction to his new battleground, Usyk's next opponent was not known for giving an inch. Question, if you lose against Alexander Usyk, and say you lose dramatically, no, 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 no. I don't think it wore me out there because I am not losing that fight. A complex character, British fan favorite Derek War Chisora had a habit of pushing world level aspirants to the limit. Most people are telling me I'm holding the golden key to the to the pearly gates. I'm happy to hold those keys. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> Under the new guidelines, no crowd, this quiet atmosphere. While post fight talk of a Chisora victory was off the mark, he gave the Ukrainian one of his toughest outings, bulldozing inside repeatedly, making Usyk work hard for his success. Oh, 
the first round might have been a bit of an eye-opener, but I think he seems comfortable. Now, good action here in the seventh, and Usyk... Chizora's energy gradually depleted, and Usyk picked his shots with style. But the southpaw was dissatisfied, rating his performance as a 3 out of 10. Usyk! Usyk gets it! Yeah, I gave it a couple of rounds away, but I was pushing the pace. But well, the judges saw it in different ways. I think he'd struggle. I think the pace and pressure from Anthony Joshua and the combination punches, he's taller, he's bigger, he's heavier than, than Chisora. So I don't know if that's answered the question for me. I, I'm not putting him up there with a the top, um, um, top three heavyweights and one in the thing world. He said, no what he said how he would get on with someone like an Anthony Joshua or, or Tyson Fury, etc. Don't eat him up. AJ Alon will eat him up, Tyson will eat him up. He hasn't got power. It's all about the final bell and whose hands are raised at the end, and that'll prove who's the best. But he's good, but I need to be better. I'm looking to, to do, do a good job, handle business, because I have my eyes set on other things. I think Usyk would uh, get him on points. I'm coming for you, Anthony. This is the fight of the year. The old boxing myth dictates that a good big end beats a good little one. Yeah, AJ knocks uh, Usyk out very conclusively. In this battle of Olympic gold medalists with stellar professional pedigrees, Usyk was determined to use his smaller stature as a tactical advantage. A lot of people are questioning your power and whether you have the power to knock Anthony Joshua out. Do you see that as a concern? Of course he's got power. He's, he's a 15 and a half stone man with exceptional speed. He can work the angles. He, the man can do it all. Power is not in, um, um, in the fact that somebody is big or small. It's in your spirit. If there's ever a serious time when it comes to two fighters getting in there, this is it. Fighting a guy who's a 12 round fighter, do you know what I mean? So it would be silly of me to go in there bulky with, with my muscles screaming for oxygen. Slimming down to match his foe punch for punch, rather than using his natural size and power, was a mistake for Anthony Joshua, who was comprehensively outfoxed for the majority and almost stopped late on. It went exactly the way I expected it to go. There were a couple of moments when Anthony pushed me hard, but just nothing special. So yeah, congratulations to Alexander Usyk, what a fighter. Put in a great performance tonight and the better man won. The hometown hero was humbled, his future hanging in the balance as a rampant Usyk instantly became a key player in the heavyweight landscape. So the pace, got a good pace, but um, he still gets hit. And in the rematch, you'll just learn how to hit him more and be more concussive with our punch selection. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men were looking forward to the wall before and after in the next Motivedia presentation.